Today we're going to start our unit on circles, and we're going to specifically talk about the relationship between some types of angles and arcs related to those angles. So let's start off with the vocabulary. The key term that we're really going to focus on later on in the lesson is this thing called the central angle. And the name gives away where the location of the angle is. Central, that means that the angle is actually, the vertex is at the center of your circle. So this is what a central angle would look like. So angle A, CB is a central angle. C is the center of the circle, therefore it is the central angle. Now, when we name a circle, we have a notation with a little circle and a dot, and then we name it by the center. So this is called circle C. So let's talk about some arcs with, within our circle that is given above. So our minor arc, the word minor, okay, Hopefully, it, you'll remember what a minor arc is because it's less than 180, okay? So minor is normally a younger person, so less than 180 is a minor arc. If you remember, a circle is exactly 360 degrees. So if it's less than 180, it's less than half of the circle, okay? So the way we notate minor arcs, you can notate it with two or three letters. So up there, there's a minor arc arc AB. Okay, you put the endpoints next to each other and then you put the little arc symbol. You could also name that same arc as VA. Okay, the order really doesn't matter there. So that's the arc that I've just listed. I can also list the arc from A to D. That is also a minor arc. Okay. A major arc, very similar, except for now the arc, it's an arc circle who is greater than 180, so it's more than half. Now, with a major arc, you can only name a major arc with three letters. It's very important. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this major arc that's more than 180, and this arc I can name is arc A, B, D, okay, with the arc symbol above. I can also flip that around and say it's arc D, B, a. Now the center letter here tells you the direction you're going, okay? Because you're going around the circle. You never go inside the circle with an arc. There's another major arc. I can say that you have this major arc as B A D, okay? And that goes around. You can flip it the other way, and D A B is another way to make that. All right, the last one is a semicircle. The definition is very important because it has some terminology in there. It's not just saying that a semicircle is exactly 180. It's actually the endpoints of the diameter. So remember, you can draw a diameter that goes through the middle. Okay, so the endpoints of that diameter create a semicircle. It's exactly 180 degrees. You can name a semicircle with two letters. Or actually, I can throw in a letter over here, and you can name a semicircle with three letters. So two or three letters for a semicircle. That's very um, important to know your, how many letters to name for the arc. So let's go and talk about central angles and what we know about the relationship between a central angle and its arc. So the measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of its corresponding central angle. So really what that says is we have a central angle. This angle degree here is equal to the arc it opens up to. Okay? The measure of the major arc that's associated with that, so that means going around this way is the major arc. Well, you know that 360 is an entire circle, so you take 360 minus the minor arc, and you'll get the rest of the circle. So let's look at this example. If it's asking for the uh, measure of the minor arc, RT, well, the angle is 50. That means RT is 50. If we want to find the remaining part of our circle, the major arc, 360 minus 50 gives me 310 for the rest of the arc. Okay, so really, I kind of call this my Pac-Man because whatever's inside Pac-Man's mouth is equal to the angle. All right, so let's go ahead and look at an example with minor, major, and then finding some measures. 
So there's several minor arcs up here. I'm just going to highlight this first one. So that could be minor arc RS. Okay, there's another minor arc here, ST, gives me another minor arc. Major arc. I'm going to go start from S and go around this direction to R. One major arc would be STR. You could also do another one going from, let's do, S to R to T. Okay? That's another major arc. So let's look at the measures of these things. So far, we've gotten 110. Well, I know I can bump 110 out here, so that arc is 110. We have the diameter, which is going to be very important. Well, that's a straight line. So I know I can do 180 minus 110 to leave me with 70, which will be this degree, which makes that arc 70. Well, the diameter cuts a circle in half, so I know that RT cut it in half and it's a semicircle, so 180 can go up there. So let's go ahead and look at what it's wanting us to find. The measure of RS from R to S, we found was 110. The measure of RTS, so let's go around the circle from R to T to S, well that includes 180 and 70. So if you add this up, you get 250. And lastly, RST, I'll do that in green, well we bypassed 110 and 70, and that actually is the semicircle, so it's 180 degrees. So just tracing around the edge of the circle, add up your degrees, and you'll find the measure of the arc. Go ahead and do this one on your own. It says, identify if it's a major, a minor, a semicircle, and then find the measures of these arcs. All right. So hopefully you have gotten these answers. You had to first find this 100, and to do that, all three or all four angles equal 360. So that's how I found 100. Add them up, subtract from 360. Now pay cl close attention to QS. You have to go in this direction because it's two letters. That means it has to be a minor arc. If you decided to go in this direction, that's going to be more than 180. So it's a major arc. So you have to go. Q to S in the direction to give you the 160. Let's try one more just to make sure you understand this. Okay, go ahead and pause and see if you can answer all of these. Here are your answers. Oops. C, D, E, sorry, it was not there, that's 180 degrees. You also needed to find the last angle, and that should have been 75 degrees. So hopefully you got all those right. The last slide is just a challenge question. There's one, two circles, one smaller one inside the larger one. See if you can find the measures of these arcs.